Originally, the plan for the intro was going to be just to make a compilation of every time I say the word house pets in the last video, but I rewatched that video and realized how atrocious the audio was before I got my new microphone. I loved the house pets comic. So instead, I'm here to tell you that over the last couple months, we've been cooking something that's hopefully five times the quality of the last video. Presenting House Pets Remastered. Okay, Sasha, for anything else, we need to find a comfortable middle. You know I'm a married dog. Of course, silly. Good. Keeping that in mind, what else can I do for you? I want your puppies. What? <laughs> your puppies are so cute. I could just take them with me. Okay, <laughs> we're home. Hi, Sasha. Wow, what's up with you, Grape? You look like a zombie. I haven't slept in a week. I keep trying and trying, but something deep in my feral brain knows that Peanut's five seconds away from waking me up, like he always does. I thought Peanut was at summer camp? He is! 98, 99, 100, ready or not. How did... You have got to start brushing your fur more often. Okay, so it's $50 minus 15 for the wiper. Eating contest. <laughs> it's a matter of scientific principle that the hungry can eat more than the well-fed. We're shoo-ins. Might need to find some shoes then. Truck, reset back to me our schedule. We have literally nothing better to do. Excellent. Slots right in. You think we can win? Sure. I only had one can of food today. No, I'm just here as a patron. I need something slow paced for a bit. Hey, King. Hey, Zach. You look down. Need an ear? I got plenty. I just learned yesterday. Bailey's pregnant. Oh, who's the father? My words ran ahead of my thoughts again. Do you want the witnesses bruised or buried? June 20th. Dear Diary, I've been working on my novel all night, so I only woke up around noon. Weather seems fine, a little warm but not too hot. Real nice, sort of wish I'd woken up sooner. Incidentally, today turned out to be one of those days where I should have just stayed in bed. Before I could retreat. Ah! Don't kill me! Hey, rabbit! This is war! You're liable to get hurt. Ask whose side he's on. Guys, you're being awfully rough for a game. War is no game. Whose side, huh? Cats or dogs? Uh, I'm a rabbit, so... neither? Well, species doesn't matter. I didn't stop Tiger from enlisting. Guys, I told you this is just my revenge against Bino, okay? Since they captured me around lunchtime, they just decided to take me to the mess with them. Do you have any lettuce? I'm a vegetarian. The kibble has a potato binder. That count? How'd all this war start anyway? Now there's a tale worth telling! Hear, hear, hear! Are you going to tell it? I have no idea what it is. I just figured it'd be worth telling. What? Everyone quick! Turn over your tables! No! Attention cats! You are surrounded! Surrender or prepare to get wet! Never! Prepare the return volley! Are they nuts? They are outgunned and separated from their supply... What are you looking at? Uh... Oh... Where in the world did you even get that? Beats me. Max is our arms liaison. And the thing took all morning to fill, so we don't get a second chance. CATS! THROUGH THE BREACH! Guys, there's still dogs there. Some of them even like getting wet. Guys! You have to give them credit going on like that. At least they're not chicken. No offense. 
Unfortunately, since I didn't follow immediately, I fell behind. The dogs captured me. Take him to Dog Fort. I was brutally interrogated. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't work for anyone. A rogue agent, eh? So what are you doing in here? Beats me. Can't the dog sleep till noon without missing everything? Almost an hour later, they took me out of the dungeon to see their commander. Where are you taking me? To see commander. But I'm absolutely sick of being dragged and I want some answers. Wait, is that you, Fido? I want to know what's going on. Sorry, Rabbit. I'm not Fido. I am... Rockstar Hawk. You have got to be kidding me. Also, I thought your name was Space Laser. Man, that name is so last year. Do you like that patch? I thought it was a nice touch. How did you even get to be leader? Uh, hello? Wolf? Leadership is my middle name. Rockstar Leadership Hawk. But that's not important. Seeing as you're neither cat nor dog, I want you to work as a triple agent for us. I'm not doing anything until... Wait. Triple agent? Yeah, we already got a double agent. Is it... Tiger? <laughs> no. Come on, it's a lot more subtle than that. Can you please tell me what this war is all about? Sorry, that information is on a need-to-know basis. I need to know. Well then, at 0 0 hours this morning, Cat Force had launched a surprise attack against the good old dog's clubhouse. We were flooded out, which is why we are in my dad's basement. We organized a defense force and marched on their major source of water. The biggest words totally awesome poo. We made a buffer surrounding it, but after the counterattack, we have lost ground. We must hold the pool. Is it really that important? Well, yeah, I haven't had a chance to go swimming yet. The Miltons keep filling their pool with like chocolate mousse. Rockstar's explanation was fishy. The cats attacked first, why wouldn't Maxwell feign ignorance? I went along with the plan to learn things for myself. Soon, I was dropped behind enemy lines. <sighs> I sought out the double agent among the cat links. However, Rockstar didn't tell me specifically who he was, but I had my suspicions. I'm telling you, Joe is the plant. No, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a cat. Whatever Grape's objections, it was far too late to stop the assault. Come on, you know how much he likes cats and the go-dogs from shuns him. So what's the costume supposed to do? Put us at ease? If you would just invest a little time into counterintelligence or even regular intelligence. Even if he snitched, they can't match our water power. These are the best water guns that can can buy. And everyone Uh guys? Next time I see my contact, I will buy his biggest gun and then bludgeon him with it. Do you remember that part in Return of the King where Pippin says, All shall fade? It was to the tune of Faramir getting slaughtered in a creepy, almost silent battle scene. What was the end result of all this violence? Asked the song in silence and one harmony. It's not nearly as meaningful when done real time. Cut it out! Spoil sport, yeesh! I decided then and there that I didn't care about sides. I wanted this carnage to end. Grape, you were right about Joey. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I knew about the attack and I could have stopped this. Come on, please. Help me find Joey. Oh, for the... I'm the double agent, you idiot. What? That doesn't even make sense. Sorry, we were one short on shocking twists. Ah! Grape! Grape, speak to me! Zap. <coughs> I didn't intend to be a double agent. I sort of fell into the role for my own purposes. You see, Peanut and I had a truce. He had been doing his own investigating. He showed me evidence of a conspiracy lurking in the background of this war. Shortly thereafter, he disappeared. He got too close. I joined the dogs as a double agent so I could get close to them. Get Peanut's notes they had locked up. Take this. It's the final address. He circled it twice and drew a lot of scribbly arrows pointed to it, saying, 
This is where the conspiracy is. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Go, Zack. If you want to end this war. To end all wars. Tell Peanut I love. I love. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll come with. We made our way to a small strip mall down the road, well out of the range of the ongoing war. Hold it right there, shadowy figure. We know you were behind the clubhouse flooding. Do what we say, or prepare to become damp! You're making demands of me. You seem to forget who's holding all the cards, and throw our blast under a desk. Besides, I still have your precious puppy. You monster! If you've done anything to Peanut! Oh, don't worry. He's certainly having a good time. <laughs> What's going on? Who are you really? And why would you want to propagate a purposeless war? All excellent questions. So allow me to enlighten you. It is I, Key Milton. You know, to answer your first question, war is a rough business, you see. I have a new line of water guns that need beta testing. And how bourbon to create a feud where their presence is not merely desired but essential. Twelve hours of hard, brutal combat is worth twelve weeks of standard market testing. I can have them on sale before the summer is out. I'm sorry, I still don't know the difference between you guys. That's not important right now. You'll never get away with this. Oh, but I already have. There's nothing left to do but wait for the final hours of the battle to play out. You can't stop them all. Nothing can call off this war, not even if you had all the water in the neighborhood. Well, never mind then. I guess I'm done. You give up? Yep. You win. You have two minutes until the space goes up. What? And the getaway dinghy only responds to my handprint. Guys! Oh, you found Pino. We gotta get out of here. What? Why? King pushed a big red button. Ah! Hey, don't worry. I got us covered. So while that was awesome and all, I ended up catching a cold. The cats and dogs dropped the whole conflict, even if they didn't buy the rain. Let's face it, the enemy isn't getting wetter. The rain sounds nice clattering against the windows. It's music I could fall asleep to, and given I'm so tired, probably will. Talk to you later, Zachary. <laughs> Yes, whichever one of you ferals is sneaking in and copying my diary for holy liturgy, stop it! Wow, the opener of ways can even see the future. Read the part where the forces of darkness captured him again. So you were the spy the whole time? Yeah, pretty much. That is so hot. <laughs> So, is there anything you can do to help? Oh, sure. I'll keep you company. That's not what I meant! And that is why you cannot modify an infinite range detection spell to cause damage. Then what is even the point of having spell modifiers? No, I'm not going to the spa just to have a game night. That sounds incredibly sissy. Then either way, we're gonna be one short cause Squeak isn't leaving to come here. Someone call for an emergency backup player. Aww, I wanted to go to the spa. Sorry new kid, we were gonna bail. Run along, I can handle game night with Lester. Ready to get creamed? Hope you brought a stack of replacement characters. Huh, I thought the Game Master was supposed to be impartial, not actively malevolent. Well, sure, if you want to be boring. Paris the Thought, let's ensure it is anything but. Lester, what happened? We barely left you for half an hour. Guys, we started the game God, and all the sudden we ordered a blanket for new kids on the team. We shot out on the top of the world and found out how to Game Master. Sounds pretty intense for a 30 minute game. It was all real! He's just sore because I insisted on playing a bard. Hey Tiger, 
Aunt Claire needs us to sit her puppy pat for a while. Uh, okay. You two have fun. Sup, Kenny? That'll be $450. Rats. Hey kids, come meet Peanut. Wow, you have a lot, and humans love cubs, so this ought to melt their hearts. Alright boys, grab him. I changed my mind. Okay, you have fun now. Attention cats! So, we're all fans of the series, see, but my mom will only spring for one. Korok dies on page 42! <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I haven't actually read any. Ten bucks, pay up. No fair betting half of that with Max. Ow, my kidney. Save the smart comments and tell the kids a word that starts with P. Pepperoni comes to mind. I mean something from the forest. Pusillanimous? I don't know. Where are these inane questions coming from? It's a way of teaching the kids at home the alphabet very, very slowly. You might find they learn easier if you let them out of the glass cage up there. That's a television, you flea-bearing trash compactor! Say, another P word sprung to mind. Would you like to see it? Check me. Precognition chess. Ah. Uh. Hey Sabrina, is Tyrodin? Wait, that's a silly question. Not as much as you think. Come in. Given that she's psychic, I thought she would have come over to rescue me again when the power went out. The power's out? Wait, but you have candles? Right. I'm an idiot. Don't blame yourself. We wouldn't have our dog chanting CD on Ian if we had power. Not since I put in Best of Queen by mistake. Every time a movie has a tarot reading, someone has to draw death, or it's not suspenseful for some reason. I guess it is because it is suspenseful to threaten death? That is misinformed. Death really represents change. It is our fear of the unknown that holds us back. But continuing it is inevitable, and so it is with the card, as it means a resisted transformation. But we must embrace change. It is a thing to overcome and not to fear, for only in overcoming our fears can we face the greatest challenges of life and reap the greatest rewards. Huh, so what does the tower represent? Death. The mall would like to remind customers that the egg hunt is intended for small children. Candy for adults is available at the confectionery. The haunt is located in the cordoned off area of the mall. Please refrain from entering management or security offices and do not overturn stores in search of eggs. There will be a grand prize for the finder of the golden egg. For every other egg, hand it to the friendly Easter Bunny in exchange for candy. Eggs have no negotiable value. Ma'am, this is a yellow egg, not a gold one. Yes, I'm sure, you're the 11th person to ask. Wow! Even humans get blessings from the opener. He's a humble prophet indeed to offer absolvency to such brutes. Hey, Fowls, truck. I don't know who you mean as we are two ordinary house cats. Maine coons, to be precise. Meow, we got you some inedible eggs. Give us our edibles in exchange, if you please. I don't please. These are literally just the discards that I had sitting behind me. Do you need this scheme? You realize this place is a food court and you have low standards. Hey, you don't have to patronate us. I know my human measurements. And there's no way we're living with just a quart of food. Yeah! Hey, false. What did the opener mean by us having low standards? It means he wants us to be sneaky. He does? Sure. A standard is kind of a banner that an army rises high to show where they are. We have a low standard, so we go about all hidden like it's a test, you see? 
Is that what beings are for? Precisely. We need to lower our standards until we prove that we've got the lowest standards ferals can have. Then I better hide this so we can find it correctly. Oh, opener. We have brought you the prized golden egg. Now bestow on us our prize. You didn't knock down a kid to get it, did you? You know what? I don't even care. I've been sitting here for four hours and my tail is numb. So here, take the prize. An effigy of the opener? In chocolate. You're really playing some deep game with all these layers upon layers of secret tests of character. If I buy you guys lunch, will you leave me alone? Hello! I'd like to see your selection of catnip, please. Um, you know, we're not allowed to sell that to pets. Oh, really? And what if my friend, Mr. Washington, vouch for me? Are, uh, you trying to bribe me with a dollar? Quarter, actually? That is adorable! See me out back! Guys, we're here! Yay! Wait, this is it? Of course! What did you expect? I don't know. I was sort of expecting every building looking like it hasn't been touched since 1930. They would have to draw our water from a pump or something. Are you disappointed then? Well, no. Well, I feel a bit silly for packing the backup generator. In retrospect, the only thing I would need to use it for is my DS. <laughs> my boy is growing up so fast. What fierce battle did you get into? I was minding my own business when a tent from Grizzly Bear rushed me from the bushes. Skunk attack, actually. Are you kids old enough to play yet? You weren't feeding the pups ice cream, were you? Oh no. For some reason, Grape ended up eating most of these. She's not eating fruit too, is she? Come on, I think I'd know. Are you? Well, that's a relief! There you are! We're in heaven and could be doing anything and you're taking a cooking class? I have hobbies, Grape. Besides, it's a really good class. Big whoop! So you end up with normal cookies at the end? Also, a legend of the Hidden Temple style gauntlet into an Iron Chef played into your favorite celebrity judges. So nobody laughs at you if you embarrass yourself. Give me an apron. And so you see, much like how red pepper is stronger than black, love is stronger than death. I never thought of it that way before. I'll never look at baking the same way again. Hold on a second. This whole baking class was just a corny metaphor? Is everything in heaven an ulterior motive to teach life lessons? No. I also really like brown butter cookies, so thank you for that. Another recipe that matches what you remember eating in heaven? It's quite a challenge. My reformed flesh brain can only recall the details of heaven like a vivid dream, but the flavors, the textures, the scintillating lights tantalize me still, and I desire again the taste of them. Whatever it is, this is quite an experience you've created. I'll say. So, order pizza again? Don't worry, I called before I started. What fresh halibut is this? Greetings, new neighbor. I have bought the customary middle class beef suffering of a hot dish. I figured being isolated from regular pets was part of what's made me such a disaster, so I moved into more modest accommodations of Briel, so I could live among you rather than above you. And perhaps, in time, repair some of the damage I've caused. This hot dish appears to be soggy serviceable, held together with Velvita. Forgiveness, please. Your ways are fun to me. Seriously, how long have you been up here so far? A few weeks. But it's Christmas already. King, it's heaven. Every day can be Christmas if you want to be. How's that fun? What about anticipation? Every day being Christmas would rapidly become a nightmare. If you want the anticipation of building the Christmas, you can have that too. As many days of anticipation you want, or none at all. But if the lead up was up to me, doesn't that just tempt me to grab quick instant gratification, knowing I could jump to the good part anytime? 
Well then, you can have someone else take control over your gratification and reward. But what if I accidentally make them a tyrant over my immortal soul for all eternity? You have to forgive King. When anything good happens to him, this is how he copes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm provided an enrichment. Maybe we can just pretend we're married as a dream? Oh, and what do you have in mind? Hey, Keynes, just brought over a new tenant. Did you guys want to- Friends, not food! Friends, not food! Sasha, it's okay, Sasha! Yes! Well, it's half of what you wanted. Any thought to when you want to mess with the completely scientific method and change back? Uh... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like having the option now, but I like everyone having the option more. I don't feel ashamed anymore. I think I'm okay with being a squirrel. I meant your sex, not species. Let's maybe talk about that when it becomes a safer option, huh? Suits me, Nugget. If a heavenly hangover is this bad, I hate to see what sort of hangover you get there. Don't make me use this, mister. I hope you enjoyed this as much as everyone else working on the project. We had a blast making this, and it's cool to see a community as small as the one that we've got put our talents together to make something like this. Before I say a few words about the production team, I would like to say, Rick Griffin, if you see this video, our team would love to get a quick Q&A with you, or something along the lines of an interview. As a farewell to this project, I would like to give a shout out to three members of the team that helped put this project together. Those three people are Roy, Virus, and MK. While there is a group of 20 people that did voice acting for this project or helped out in some way, these three helped step up to organize the files, reach out to the voice actors individually to check in with them, and a large list of other things. A huge thanks to those three and every voice actor that helped out. I'd also like to thank our editor, Luke, who worked to edit this project non-stop for the past couple of weeks, and ultimately was the one to assemble the literal thousands of files involved in this project. So with all that being said, roll credits. I thought Pina was at summer camp? He is! Say, another P word sprung to mind. Would you like to see it? Death. Oh, and if you somehow didn't notice the extra six and a half minutes left in the video, we're not quite done yet. Here's about six minutes, or 24 bloopers worth. Enjoy! Of course- oh sh- <laughs> My words ran ahead of my thoughts again. Do you want the witnesses bruised? Blah, 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 blah. Do you want the witnesses blah, 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 blah. Witnesses. Do you want the witness prove Why is it so difficult to say witness this? Ah! Why are you messaging me? I'm recording! Ask whose side he's on. Guys, you're being- What? Oh, shit. Do you have any lettuce? I'm a vegetarian. The potato has a kibble bite. Wait, no it doesn't. The binder has a kibble bite. <laughs> Cut it out! Spoil sport. Yee-hee! <laughs> Voice crack. Wow. Hold it right there, shadowy figure. We know you were behind the Shadow House fall. And that is why you cannot modify an infinite range detection spell to cause damage. Then what is even the point of having spell modeler? Then what is even the point of having Okay. Someone call for an emergency backup player. Oh. <laughs> what an what an hour was that? <laughs> okay. Sounds pretty intense for a 30 minute get bro. That was pretty- Go away! That was- Oh my god. Oh. Check me. Pretty cock- Bleh! Pretty- Pre- 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 Cogni- Yeah, yeah. Pre- 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 Cognition. Hey Sabrina, is Tarot in? Wait, that's a silly question. Not as much as the thing, Galilea. Not as much as the thing, Galilea. Why does that happen? Not as much as you- Bleh! Not as much as you think. Right. I'm an idiot. Don't blame yourself. We want to have our dark chanting CD on Emily. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. We want to have our dark chanting CD on EMV had power. Fuuuuck. Don't blame yourself. We want to have our dark chanting CD on EMV had power. Not since I. Oh my god. Why do I sound so sassy all the time? Is it because I'm playing cats? That is misinformed. Death? 
really represents change. It is our fear of the unknown. I mean, that's not the right voice. He's a humble prophet indeed to offer absolvency to such brutes. How do you pronounce? Hey, you don't have to patronate us. I know. What was that? Sure, a standard is kind of a banner. We need to lower our standards and f <laughs> an effigy of the opener? An effigy of the opener? An effigy of the opener? An effigy. Okay. Oh, fuck, I, I, I didn't put these on. My, my boys growing up. Oh, that's too much sniffling. My, my boys. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, what the? My. Oh. My boy is growing up so fast. What? Fuck. It's quite a challenge. My reformed flesh brain can only recall the details of heaven like a vivid dream. But the flavors, the textures, the scintillating lights tantalize me still, and I say, my reformed flesh brain can only recall the details of heaven like a vivid dream, but the flavors, the textures, the scintillating lights. This hot dish appears to be soggy city civil. Well, hell, hell to get hell, hell, la, 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 la. As many days of anticipation, as many days of. Well, then you can have someone else take control over. Well, then. You can have someone else take control over your grand if the gets wicked. Oh, I'm recording. If a heavenly hangover is this bad, I'd hate to say what sort of bad damn it. I hope you enjoyed the video. My team has poured our time into this, so if you'd like to support the artists and editing that goes into videos like this, Patreon is linked in the description. Thanks again to the Discord server for making this possible, and thanks to you for watching. Have a good one, y'all. Gone.